I'm Carolyn Clifford and here are your 7 Action News headlines. A pair is now charged for allegedly attacking a man with a baseball bat and throwing him into a river in Lyon Township. 24-year-old Jessica Kropanicki and 28-year-old Christopher Simons are charged with assault with intent to murder. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office says the two had set the victim up, but the motive for the attack was not released. Deputies found the victim in the bathroom of a nearby home after he broke in looking for help. A new lawsuit levels disturbing allegations at the Wayne County Jail tonight. The plaintiffs are three women behind bars right now. They accuse the jail of conducting unreasonable and unlawful strip searches. They say women are forced to strip in common areas right in front of male officers and male inmates. The women claim they are subjected to humiliating and sexually exploitive comments. They say they have suffered extreme emotional distress. The sheriff's office won't comment on the lawsuit, but says the matter is now under internal investigation. All right, let's turn to the weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with the check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Quite a nice day today. We got to 69, almost 70, and that is the average high this time of year, and we're going to have the 70s for a while. You can see Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all low 70s. We pull back a bit on Saturday because of the rain, 66, but then it's mid to upper 70s Sunday and through early next week. Now, there could be a little shower, thunder shower tomorrow in the afternoon. Better chances on the north side than the uh, south side. And maybe some bits and pieces of rain every now and then, but the rainiest day certainly looks to be Saturday. So enjoy this nice stretch of some warmer weather. We will. Thank you so much, Rexy. The city of Highland Park is taking a page out of Detroit's playbook when it comes to crime fighting. The city has unveiled a new tool called Blue Light, a real time crime monitoring system. It's a replica of Project Green Light in Detroit, which police there say has been highly successful. Highland Park is partnering with Ecors for the program with funding coming from a grant. They are hoping to launch sometime next month, but are urging businesses to sign up now. Well, those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have those stories and a whole lot more on our website right now at WXYZ.com. And of course, on our 7 app. Have a great night.